And we're back with Let's Play Final Four Genealogy of the Holy War. Okay, time you can tell. I jump time, skip time, whatever. Kill these guys, kill that guy. He does say exactly the same thing as the last two guys said. Can you believe that? I'm sure you can, because Nintendo is lazy. Alright, let's subdue Freege! Levin, we finally made it to Freege! I wonder how the children of Bahar are holding up. I hope they're okay. Actually, there's someone here to speak to you about that, Celis. Who are you? My name is Philippe. I am a former attendant of His Majesty, Emperor Alvis. I had secret orders from His Majesty to safeguard all the abducted children from Julius. You what? You mean they're all right? That's correct. They are all safe and sound at the monastery here in town. Wow, you sure did a fantastic job keeping that from Hilda. Well, actually, Princess Ishtar came to our aid in that matter. None of the soldiers came near the monastery for fear of retribution from the princess. Princess Ishtar did that? Why? Her Highness in, is in truth a very caring individual. She took an interest in the children's welfare right from the start. It was Her Highness, after all, who coordinated their escape from the royal palace. Is that right? Well, everyone will be glad to know that children are safe. Sir Philippe, please accept my utmost gratitude. That's one objective down. It's nice to see our struggle is finally quite pay starting to pay off. But we still haven't located Julia. Where could she be? Well, she's not free, so that leaves us with Bahar uh, or Velmer. One of the two. Julius is in Bahara, isn't he? Yeah, we've got to find Julia before we go there. Because we don't stand a chance against Julius without her power. But will she want to face Julius? He's her own brother. We're just going to have to get through to her, Celis. Alright, things are looking up. Looking so very much up. But before we end the phase, there's a couple of little details we need to handle. Yay! Basically, at this point, all of our army is outdated now. Save for our holy weapon users, and you'll see why in them really soon. Here, get in there. We want that reserve fixed, buddy. You get in there. Libro needs fixing. So does the resource, because I've used it to fight off the sleep staves. Hooray! You all need to move closer. Okay. Here it comes. Bahara Castle. Your Highness, I wish to take the Wizen Ritter out and fortify the palace's defense. I request your permission to leave the royal palace. <laughs> Why do you need to join the battle all of a sudden? They can send as many soldiers as they want. They can't defeat me. You just stay put. I mean no disrespect, but do understand that I take great pride in being a warlock of Frege. With the murder of my parents and my brother, it pains me to sit here doing nothing. Please allow me to fight. You have a death wish or something, Ishtar? Or are you just trying to elude me? No, of course not. I love you, Julius. You know that. <laughs> Alright, you do what you want. I'm not stopping you. Thank you, Your Highness. Ming, Blake, Maybell, come with me. Yes, Your Highness. How about we wrap this up? Have Arion's mercenary squad set up an attack pattern. Dark Warlords, it's showtime. I'm all through playing. The Rebel Army is history. Say hello to the Dark Warlords. <laughs> it's time, Julia. Do as I bid thee, and dispose of all who's who defy the Empire. Yes, your eminence. So many enemies! Ha! Yup! Ha! But we're not scared of them, and you'll see why soon. Okay, let's get up to speed here. These guys are tough. They have L wins. 
makes him tough. Do lots of damage. You can get double hits if we're unlucky. These guys have killer bows, which mostly makes them a nuisance. Pretty speedy, though. These guys just have reserves, and there's lots of them. These guys are the real pain. Hero swords. You know that's never good. <laughs> His star has five leadership stars, 30 battle speed, and a barrier ring so we can't silence her. The only way to silence her is if for SETI to max magic and have a magic ring, which he doesn't. <sighs> but that's not the worst of it. Look at this thing! 30 speed, 30 luck. Okay, it's got a crappy earth sword and... 27 magic events? What? It's got poor magic and strength, though. But look! Pursuit. Continue. Awareness. Crit was critical. It'll get critical hits, and you can't shoot it down with arrows! And it's got four leadership stars. These two are basically the same, but without the leadership stars. And they have leg rigs, which means they can chase us. Julius is back. He's got Lopto and a Meteor spell to annoy anybody who gets near him. His stats, if I recall, are slightly lowered here. I think he has less magic, but I don't remember. But now he has awareness, so now he can't get critical hits on him. It's gonna be a tough and grueling old-fashioned brawl. And now for the Dark Warlords. They're all named after the um, first 12 numbers in German. You got Inns, he's a Baron, Silver Spear. They all have custom skills. All of them. Plus any soldier skills. He has Pursuit, Continue. But we're not too worried about him. He's mostly just average. Veer, all she can do is avoid and heal. She has a reserve. Dre, Wrath, Pursuit. He has a lot of damage, and that's really it. Thumph, he's deadly. He is basically Jamka on roids. Zui, he has Silver Blade. He's not too tough, except he can get critical hits and duel. Does lots of damage. Sex is kind of bad, just has Tron, lots of magic damage. Wrath for the annoyance, Pursuit for the annoyance. Act is pretty deadly. Tornado, 28 speed! Lots of turn getting moves, not pleasant. Saiben, he just sucks. Okay, yeah, he has critical ammo, but he has Vulcan and Veil. Elf, the only non promoted unit. She has Resire, for some creepy reason. And Pursuit and in Critical. Zwolf, he can steal our stuff and get critical hits, but the main annoyance comes from this thing. Zen, aw, oh, crap. Why hell? Why of all the spells in the game does he have hell? And Noon. Noon has a lot. Critical hits, lots of turns, lightweight weapon, can heal itself. Julia! This is why I gave her a fire spell. Because this is what she's going to attack us with. The craptastic fire tone. Yeah. She's basically exactly the same as she was when you last left off. Not much else to say. Manfoy! We finally get to kick his wrinkly, evil old butt! Lots of leadership stars. Don't know even know why he has these two, because he's so got the freaking heavy dark magic. Charisma makes him a little bit dodgier, makes everyone else dodgy. 29 magic! Not bad. And all of his underlings have hell and sleep! Makes me curious now. Oh crap. Okay. We ain't scared though. And this is why. Oh yeah. Seti is gonna learn them all a lesson. Starting with the next episode because we are really out of time. So we'll be seeing you on the next episode of Let's Play Primal 4 Genealogy of the Holy War. Stay tuned everyone, the final battle is approaching!